All right, guys, so welcome back to another episode of Fat Acceptance TikTok Cringe. And I found this one guy that I, I don't know, he just popped up on my uh, For You page once, right? Um, And his name is, wait, back this up. His name is Peter Griffin, right? He tries to copy the exact same, I guess, aesthetic as Peter Griffin. And this man, look what he says right here, right? Hi, what's your name? Uh, I am Rob Frangigi, a.k.a. The Real Life Peter Griffin, and uh, we're, we're here in New York Comic Con. You look just like Peter. I do. I, I mean, I uh, trained my body physically for decades for this. Trained my body physically for decades to look like this. I understand if you're really trying to become some sort of influencer or, you know, just try to get big in, or big, <laughs> you know, in getting, like, fame to get more money or to just impress people or whatever you're trying to get it for, right? Um, but there's a lot of people in this generation, they're doing it for, like, in a way that could harm themselves. We got Nikocado Avocado. He's having, like, that whole buffet every single day to get huge because that gets him more attention. This guy is getting more attention by looking like Peter Griffin, uh, the one from Family Guy, right? And he's putting on the whole persona of staying huge. So now he's going to stay humongous because he wants to get more attention from people. And before I even seen any of this, right, he popped up. I don't know if I, uh have this um anymore i took a screenshot of it a while ago right but look so i was uh expo exposing my dms with my one friend right but um this is one screenshot that i found a while ago that i just popped up on my tiktok right and it says fat joke equals ban so um probably doing this just to be funny but people are just coming in here and destroying this guy for the way he looks because he's humongous instead of actually I don't know, watching his gameplay and stuff like that. And I feel like this is the type of censorship that people are pushing towards, right? If you make fun of somebody for being morbidly obese and not taking care of themselves, they're going to ban you. They're going to censor you. They're going to cancel you out. Hey, I'm a smaller channel too, right? Super small channel. I don't even have 1K subscribers, right? Um, And I can still just get taken off youtube just wiped off because i'm talking about being fat is bad and people are not taking care of themselves and they're making the wrong decisions if i am telling somebody that they're doing something wrong and it doesn't agree with what society wants me to tell them then all they're gonna do is just take me and throw me to the side and shove me down <laughs> even though i'm saying the right things so that is it's it's ridiculous so that is that guy right there another thing i wanted to talk about hold up i found it on my twitter um so it was this one person i have a lot of crazy stuff on my twitter so let's just scroll through all of these Hope but but it was this person right this was a while ago look seattle washington january 5th through 7th and i want to see you there Batcon is a three-day fat liberation celebration y'all we will be celebrating fat liberation body acceptance and the power of being in fat community with over 60 hours of programming spanning from policy legislation healthcare, community and visual arts Plus a ton more, this is sure to be something you don't want to miss. The vibes are going to be immaculate. With a fat brunch, a fat fashion show, and a fat vendor marketplace, there is so much to do. Plus, there's some really cool experiences you can sign up for. Like some fat liberation photo shoots and some incredible shopping. Fat liberation photo shoots. Experiences with two big blocks. Being in fat community with other fat people who just accept you for who you are and get it is such a great experience. And I want every single person watching this to be able to have that experience with us. Such a great experience. You're surrounded by a bunch of failures and that's just straight up how it is. Like you're all can't take actual criticism and apply it to your life so you're going to surround yourself with a bunch of people who don't know how to lose weight and don't know how to do these things um, that are actually going to better their life. So they're actually going to just make a whole con fat con <laughs> like this this seems satire it seems like a parody and it's not which is really sad um and i i wonder how this went because this was a while ago but um like i really think this is like a, an account it's like oh yeah this is just like oh i'm i'm fat and it's like a big joke and stuff but no it's not bro fat activists plus size census and they do stuff like have petitions for plus size travelers so you want to hear my hot take on plus size travel and why I think every plus size traveler should get a free second and even third seat on an airplane? Then you better keep watching and sign my petition to make some real change. Let's just state facts. Plus size travelers need more space. And many people agree that plane seats are too small, even for the average size person. 
As a plus size traveler myself, I know how uncomfortable and unsafe it can be to squeeze into a tiny airplane seat. Like, are- <laughs> like, I'd rather have smaller seats if that means I would pay less, right? If it would be cheaper for them to make it and fly and whatever, and doing their stuff. But expanding it because you don't want to actually go to the gym and lose weight and and all that stuff is actually like ridiculous. Soft boy. Funny uh, music thing right there. Uh, yeah, just wanted to talk about a little bit about, uh, about the, the one guy and this person. Seen that a while ago. Should have reacted to a while ago, but I had a lot of stuff I had to do. So sorry for not uploading a lot. I'm going to try my best to keep uploading. Uh, make this channel active as I did again. And of course, I don't want to give up and be a failure myself and be humongous. I'm still like 137 uh, pounds. Still like super skinny-ish. Uh, yeah, so don't worry, guys. I didn't blow up like a balloon and then just quit because I'm a hypocrite. I am definitely not, and I'm not going to be humongous my entire life uh, or ever again because, uh, yeah, I'm not a failure. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> stop you.